But I thought one of the things is that you get to visit these incredibly magical worlds. Plus, I thought the artistry and the creativity that everybody on the uh, uh, you know on, on the design side and the story side brought it was worth spending the time on because it was it was just um, so beyond anything that I'd ever seen before. I think what is starting to happen with these games is it actually gets closer to the pleasure we musicians experience when we play our instruments or when we play together. And because games are becoming more interactive and more immersive, it's like being in a band. I think that is one of the qualities that the art and the art direction and the story itself you know, allowed to happen in this game. So the inspiration is the game itself, the inspiration are the people who have made the game. In a peculiar way, it's, it's always a co-authorship between the story and the musician. You know, it's just a different way of expressing that. So you want to keep it as colorful as possible and you want to keep it as human as possible. Because I think the only thing that doesn't bore us at the end of the day is if we can make an emotional connection or something. Epic and haunting and soulful. Um, and haunting, I think, is sort of an important part of this because it's like, it's these worlds that we can nearly touch, you know, but that live in our dreams, that live in our imagination. I mean, part of it is this, what you've managed to do is you've managed to make fantasy become more real, which is wonderful. Just uh, from me to the artists who worked on it, I think what you've done is truly beautiful. I want to congratulate you all.